Hello my friends and welcome to World War II History Today, a new daily series where we roll back the clock and take a look at some of the key events that shaped the outcome of the Second World War on this very day in history. Today's date, November 8th. On November 8th, 1885, we're starting way back today, Tomoyuki Yamashita was born in Shikoku, Japan. Tomoyuki, known as the Tiger of Malaya, was a general in the Imperial Japanese Army and was tried for war crimes committed by men under his command in the Philippines in 1944. Yamashita was found guilty and sentenced to death, setting a precedent for command responsibility in international law, now known as the Yamashita Standard. On November 8, 1917, Vladimir Lenin and his Bolshevik party declare a so-called government of the workers and peasants in the wake of the October Revolution. Lenin appoints an up-and-coming Central Committee member named Joseph Stalin to his first major government position as People's Commissar for Nationalities. On November 8, 1923, a 34-year-old Adolf Hitler, Erich Ludendorff, and roughly 2,000 followers of the budding National Socialist Party in Germany marched to the Felderhall in Munich as part of a failed coup to overthrow the government of the Weimar Republic. Hitler would evade capture for two days, but was soon caught and charged with treason. The event, which would come to be known as the Beer Hall Putsch, helped thrust a then relatively unknown Hitler into the national spotlight through a highly publicized trial where he heavily leaned into his aggressive nationalist ideologies. On November 8, 1932, the 50-year-old Democratic governor of New York, Franklin Delano Roosevelt, defeats incumbent Republican President Herbert Hoover and becomes the 32nd president of the United States. On November 8, 1939, a 36-year-old German carpenter named Johann Georg Elser attempts to assassinate the now Fuhrer, Adolf Hitler, at a speech commemorating the 16th anniversary of the Beer Hall Putsch. Elser successfully plants a bomb under the podium where Hitler was supposed to speak, but Hitler leaves the ceremony earlier than expected. The bomb does detonate shortly after Hitler's departure, killing eight and injuring dozens of others in attendance. Elser is eventually captured, spends the remainder of his life in captivity, and is eventually shot at Dachau concentration camp just weeks before the war's end. On November 8, 1941, Hitler speaks at yet another Beer Hall Putsch anniversary celebration and claims that the Soviet Union is nearly defeated much to the contrary of the reality of the German army's rapidly slowing progress in the east. On November 8, 1942, British forces in Egypt are able to push Rommel's Africa Corps back to Sidi Barani. Some 1,800 miles to the east, Allied forces land in Algeria at Oran and Algiers as Operation Torch formally begins. Joint British and American forces with the assistance of French resistance fighters in Algeria are able to defeat the Vichy French forces in Algiers and take the city before the day's end. Across the Mediterranean, units of the U.S. 306th Bomb Group strike targets in Lille, France. On November 8, 1944, an ailing and increasingly paranoid Hitler fails to appear at the Beer Hall Putsch anniversary for the first time. Later that day, German propaganda confirms the existence of the Nazi V-2 rocket program for the first time. In Osnabrück, 258 victory Luftwaffe fighter ace Walter Novotny is shot down and killed in his ME-262 by American P-51s of the 254th Fighter Group. And finally, on November 8, 1991, the USS Lexington CB-16 is decommissioned from service. She would be the last Essex-class carrier to complete her service with the US Navy and remains the longest serving aircraft carrier in military history anywhere in the world. And that's what happened today, November 8th, in the history of the Second World War. Lots of beer hall push today. Oof. Be sure to subscribe right here for your daily dose of World War II history. If you missed yesterday's episode, you can check it out right here. And until next time, be well. We'll see you tomorrow.